Mary Beth with Thorngren Studio Arts with our third lesson in a la prima painting summer series with fruit. Today we're going to do peaches. Um, if you remember, a la prima is direct painting. Uh, most of the mixing happens on the canvas and it's uh, very immediate so, um, and fast. We've got um, an allotted 30 minutes to complete this painting. Um, don't feel like you have to rush, really. Um, if you get everything done in 30 minutes and you want to go back in, that's perfectly all right. Um, I've laid out my colors in my palette in the order I will be using them on my canvas. So, the first is just a violet color. I know you have that in your, um, in your sets. And this one is a, a red, a cadmium red. And this one is a deep yellow golden. Orange, cadmium orange. And this one's a brilliant yellow. Viridian green. Titanium white. Ultramarine blue. And turquoise. Okay, so. This is up to you. I'm gonna let you choose how you wanna do it, what you feel comfortable with. I know there are some artists that don't ever use a pencil to sketch out their work. Um, I, I can't wait to get started with the painting, so usually I use, use a thin brush. And what I'm gonna start with all over is just the violet. That's my first one, and I've laid out my colors in my palette, um, kind of a counterclockwise. It's a little bit of water. I'm going to pull out my violet color. And I'm going to keep it kind of fluid so I can just get a nice loose sketch down. And one of the advantages of using paint to sketch out instead of your pencil is that it keeps it more uh, fluid, more loose. You, you get an overall let nice painterly quality. Not You're not so married to those um, pencil lines. Okay, so my still life is set up and I want to give myself weight at the bottom so I'm visualizing how it's gonna be on the canvas. I'm gonna start up here and lightly sketch just the outer edge, the contour, the outer edge of this peach in the background. And see where this one over, just, they just kind of butt up against each other. And then we'll probably take that off the canvas just a little. Right here, coming into my cut peach. And up front. Like so. Just a little bit of whimsy. I'm going to take that edge up nice and fine up at the edge there. A little indication of the plate in the background. And the pit of the peach. A little more. I'm just going to add just a little texture into my peach. Pit. Underpainting, no shading, just with the dry bits that's left on my page of my brush. <laughs> All right, so okay, looks good. And I'm gonna go back in and give myself a violet, a little more dab of violet, and pulling out with the white, and remembering that I like to keep my reserves clean. So I pull out to the mil middle of the palette. If um, you don't have a large palette, paper plates work great to do your mixing. Okay, so I've got a nice violet. Um, I still have a small brush. I haven't noticed I haven't gone back into the water. XXX. I don't need to larger brush on this small eight by 10 canvas. 
I may end up using the same brush throughout. Definitely will save time. X, 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 X. Very immediate, very painterly. I like that color. Now I'm gonna go back and give, just pull out a little of the darker violet and give some darkness around my peaches. X, 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 X. Okay. Next, let's see, I'm gonna pull off my paint on my brush here. Clean it in the water. Pulling off the paint makes my water cleaner, longer. And now I'm going to, let's see, I'm gonna move counterclockwise, go into the cadmium red, hit it with a little bit of gold, and I'm just gonna plop that down on here very loosely. Look at that. that purple underneath, it's really, really helping to give some of that volume. I'm showing the shape. And notice how I'm, sh I'm painting in the direction of the object. I'm gonna add a little more red on this one. This one's gonna go by really quick. And that particular peach, I can see the pit, I mean, the, where the stem would have been. And hit there. And while I still have my brush, I'm going to add a little more here. Okay. Pull off. Okay, so now we're ready to go into the yellows and the oranges here. I'm gonna grab a little orange, pull it out. A little yellow, pull it out. And I didn't mix very much. Most of my mixing is happening on the canvas. Look at this. Painting outward strokes. Outward. On this cut. And grab a little more. And look at, look at this mixture. So I've got the yellow and the orange on my brush. And I'm just gonna plop it down. Slide and watch these strokes. I'm going in the direction. It's curving back. Curve this way. Grab a little more, and I'm going to do a little bit more yellow. And on this back peach, curve, 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 curve. Little blending. That's what's fun about fruit, because you can really get the, the feel of it. Okay, let's do a little more right down here. Well, I'm going to add a little white to that one down in the front to give it a little more oomph. Okay. I apologize for these big trucks. I live in a very small town and it's just crazy that my gallery is located right on the, the main thoroughway there. <laughs> All right, so let's do the um, peach pit. 
and I've got the orange and yellow mixture already there. I'm going to add, go back into my purple just because, just because. And I'm gonna add a little more orange into that. It's kind of making a, a almost a burnt sienna. Okay. Dab, 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 dab. I'm leaving some of those original um, strokes from our sketch in there like that. And then I'm gonna go back, not cleaning my brush, into that light yellow. yourself a lot of trouble and just use brown, but I've created it. How do you know that? All right. Just a little indication. Stem on this one. bigger or larger, zoom in, it's all up to you. However you want to compose it. You are the composer. Pulling out yellow, going into green, just a little green into that yellow. And I want to make my leaf go off and a little bigger. I tried to find a peach with a good size leaf, but to no avail. All right, there's my... And in my original one, let's see, I might just kind of add one back in here just for interest. How about that? Maybe a little one off to the side. All up to you, however you want to compose it. I want you to have fun with it. A little white back into my yellow-white mixture. Tapping in. Little highlights. Okay. Now all I have left, as we keep going very quickly, a la prima. And if you don't want to keep doing, pulling off and using the same brush, grab another one, put it aside. A lot of freedom in painting. And all painting really is, if you think about it, is just solving problems. All right, so I have my ultramarine blue. I pulled it out. I'm gonna pull in a little bit of turquoise. See if I can get that great color of the plate. And a little bit of white. Just about there. Ooh, I think I got it. Okay. Filling in around my little X's. Love blue and orange up against each other. Nice and vibrant. Plate, pulling out a little bit of white off 
popping them in where I see them. Mixing them on the canvas. Back here. give some weight so that these uh, peaches look like they're actually sitting on the plate. So I'm going to go back into that mixture that I had with the turquoise and the ultramarine and just add a little more ultramarine blue and a little bit of violet. Come up against here. Shaped of the shadow defines the object, vice versa. And here we've got, I see a little shadow back there. Giving that weight in the foreground here. Okay. Now I can come in and get it a little bit darker, closer to the object. Plop in darker pieces. There. Okay. I'm just gonna set that aside and grab myself a clean brush. And Come with some titanium white into my blue mixture that I did of the plate. I'm working so fast that my palette is still staying wet. Um, and I'm just gonna do some light, like it's sitting on the white table there. Up against. You never want to leave the whiteness of a canvas to get white. It's always important to paint the whole thing so that it looks finished, it looks complete. The bottom of that plate, I can come back in to the ultramarine blue and into my purple. I'm gonna use a little more of this purpley violet for the bottom of this shadow there. Whimsical, fun, very painterly. Okay, I'm at the point where I can look at my canvas, I have everything covered, and where can I get more bang for my buck? I'm looking for drama at the very end. These quick paintings, you wanna see where you can, I really would like my cut peach to come out a little more. Um, and what I'm gonna do is clean my brush off really well, get into, make that pop, and I. I'm gonna do that with more yellow and a little bit white, titanium white. Okay, that's helping. Put a little bit white, more white on this edge up against that so that'll really pop out. I'm gonna try to push that back a little further and I'm gonna use some violet and I'll put some darker red into that violet. So we've got cadmium red and violet mixing up and
have objects next to each other, they, they play. So I put this um, titanium white on this edge here and I can put the dark right up against it down here at the bottom. And what that does is like a push and pull. So this is coming out and that's going back and that's what we're, we're after, that illusion of, of space. So now we've got this one and I'm gonna do the same thing. I've got it dark here on this back one. I'm gonna pull off my violet. Give it a good swish. Look how clean my water has stayed by pulling out that, by um, taking the paint off my brush before. Okay, so push pull. How can I get this? This one to come out and this one to go back. I'm gonna add a little white and I'm gonna do this gold and I'm not gonna use much of that. White and golden. Just come along this edge. Let's give it a few strokes. There, so what that does there. And look, I've left those. Very nice, just so much the same. And I'm gonna get those down here for a little bit. You are the composer. I want you to feel free of where you put your strokes and how you decide to leave them. Very immediate. And it looks like I could give a little bit more punch into my leaves and we're all just about done. A little green down at the bottom here. This one in. I see one thing I want to do and then I'm going to call it quits because this is, I want to keep it nice and fresh. That's the thing about a la prima, fresh painting. I am trying to get that brown mixture that I had done with the uh, violet and the ultramarine blue and a little bit of orange. Thanks for joining me.